welcome back to my studio. If you're new here, my name's Morgan, and I make all things party and event. And today I wanna to show you how to put together this carnival ticket backdrop. It's a whimsical and fun addition to carnivals, circus, or even movie-themed parties. It comes together super quickly and is really inexpensive because it's only made from a curtain and a few tickets. So follow along and I'll show you how to make it. To make today's project, you're going to need three things, and the first of those is tickets. Now I've got four rolls of 2,000 count single tickets, and these are one inch wide by about two inches long. And to make this backdrop, I used about half of each of the rolls. The second item you'll need is a curtain panel. I chose this one specifically because it has a pull pocket along the top, and it's about five by seven, which is exactly the size I want my backdrop to be. And to bring those two parts together, I'm just using an everyday office stapler. The first thing we need to do is turn our rolls of tickets into seven foot long segments. And because we need 60 of these to make our five foot wide backdrop, we wanna do this in the most efficient way possible. So I'm using one of my balloon bases here with a short piece of pipe on it. I'm gonna use this as a spindle. So once I place all my rolls of tickets onto the spindle, I'll be able to pull all four rolls at once to my desired length. Now, if you don't have a base like this, you could always use a paper towel holder, or you could even have a friend hold a dowel rod horizontally with all the rolls on it, and that's gonna make pulling off each of these strands super easy. With the tickets ready to go on the spindle, I'm gonna set it on the floor, and from the edge of that, extend out my tape measure to a little bit longer than seven feet. I then grabbed all four ends of my ticket rolls and gently pulled them off of the spool and down to that seven foot mark on my tape measure. And I want to take this nice and slow so I don't accidentally rip anything and try and lay them as flat as possible on the floor. And then going to go back to the end of the tape measure and then just rip off the tickets anywhere where there's a perforation. These don't have to be super accurate at the moment, we just want to get the general length. So go ahead and repeat that step until you have all the ticket strands you need for the width of your backdrop. I unfolded the curtain panel and making sure that the front side of the curtain was facing up, I laid it flat on the floor. On top of the curtain panel, I'm gonna lay my first strand of tickets, making sure I'm aligning the edge of my tickets down the length of that curtain. I also wanna make sure the end of my tickets line up with this seam along the pull pocket because this seam is going to be my guideline for attaching all of my remaining tickets. It's also important to note that you want your tickets to lay nice and flat and square so we don't accidentally attach them at a cockeyed angle, and that way when we hang this up, they'll all hang nice and straight. Once your tickets are in place, you're then going to come in with your stapler and put a staple right along the top third of the ticket. I found it was helpful to fold over the pull pocket a little bit to get the stapler in there nice and straight. You just wanna make sure you don't put a staple through that pocket. I laid multiple strands of tickets on top of the curtain panel at a time, and then I would slowly pull them up into place and staple them down. This made it so I didn't have to get up and down quite so often to place my tickets before adhering them to the panel. A couple of things to keep in mind is as you staple your tickets together, you want your tickets to be touching the one next to it. This means that you won't have quite so many gaps and you're less likely to see the curtain through your tickets. A design choice I made for this project was I wanted all the tickets to be very consistent. So you'll notice the admit one is all facing the same direction across the length of the curtain. You'll also notice that the colors that I'm using are all in a repeating pattern and I decided to not go for a random look. I think this makes the curtain look really sharp, but whether you decide to go with a consistency or for the random look, you just want to make sure you embrace that look fully because if I messed up one of my admit ones and it was facing the wrong direction, it would look pretty weird compared to the rest of the curtain. I'm making this ticket backdrop for an outdoor carnival party and I needed this to be able to go onto a backdrop stand and be able to withstand the wind. So that's why I've attached it to a curtain panel. But if you were holding a party inside, you could always just make your lengths of tickets and tape them directly to a wall. You just wanna make sure that the tape you're using isn't going to cause damage to that wall, but it's a really simple and easy way if you were setting up a carnival party inside your house. Once all the ticket strands have been stapled in place, I can then take my backdrop stand pole and slide it through the top of my curtain. I'm then going to lift this all straight up and attach it to my backdrop stand because I do wanna go ahead and straighten out some of my tickets before taking it to the final party. So once I've got it on the backdrop stand, I'm gonna come around and detangle my ticket strands. It's really easy for the tickets to get caught on each other right where it's notched out between the two tickets. So you'll notice that that's where they really get caught. So I'm just gonna go across the entire width of the backdrop and straighten all those out so they hang flat. 
Moving down to the bottom of the curtain, I'm going to even out all my lengths of tickets. So I'm just going to pick a spot on my curtain and start ripping the tickets at the nearest perforation. Now this means that I won't have a perfectly straight line, but it's going to be close enough that when you're standing in front of this, you're not going to notice one centimeter being off or not. Now if I were going to hang this backdrop inside somewhere, I would consider this project done. These tickets will hang just fine if you were going to be indoors, but knowing that I'm going to take this backdrop outside and it's inevitably going to be windy, I want to come back and secure all the ends of these tickets to the curtain as well. That way when the wind blows, it'll all blow as a singular curtain and you won't have all the tickets flying around and getting all tangled again. To attach the bottom of these strands to the curtain, I'm going to pull both the strand of tickets and the curtain taut before I place my staple. This means that they'll both hang at the same rate because if I pulled on just the tickets but I left the curtain kind of loose, it would start to bulge in weird ways. So we want to make sure everything is nice and straight, all the tickets are touching each other, and that will mean this will all be a solid piece when I go to take it outside. And that's it. With a few simple items, you could have a really whimsical backdrop for your next party or event. I hope you're inspired by today's project and give us a try. It goes to show that you don't have to have huge budgets and tons of tools on hand to make some really amazing props for your next party or event. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe below and consider joining our Patreon group where I give even more event and party tips and tricks over there. So until the next time, you can check out some of my other videos. And remember, stay creative, everybody. Bye!